Hello. Here we are again. I wanted to show you another quick art activity. It's very similar to the reindeer activity that I showed this week on the choice board. And if you've already seen that one, then this will be very familiar to you. So for this one, you need a piece of paper. I chose half of a piece of paper that I had left over from a different activity. And you need some Crayola markers. This kind is really great. They don't need to be Crayola actually. They just need to be washable, okay? Not permanent, so washable markers and paper and probably a pencil. So this is what you are going to do if you choose to. You need your finger and the marker and you're going to color the end of your finger. While the marker is still wet, make a fingerprint. OK. And now I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to wipe all the purple off. I've got a little wet cloth here ready to go. And I'm going to do some red on the end. While the marker is still wet, I'm going to press my finger onto the paper. And maybe next I will do yellow. You could do all of yours the same color. You'll see what I'm going to turn this into in a second, but you can do all of yours the same color if you want to, or you could choose two colors or you can make a pattern. You can do pretty much whatever you want. I kind of want mine to look a bit like a rainbow, so I'm choosing many different colors for mine. There we go. And I'll do blue. I'm going to make sure I've got my lids on all my markers. Then I'm going to wipe the blue off my finger. And the last one, I'm going to do green. While the marker is still wet, I'll do my green print. OK. Now I want to make sure I get all the marker off that I can. Maybe I'll go to the bathroom and wash with soap and water to get rid of it. So it doesn't get on your clothes or the furniture. I'm going to take care of your house, right? Take care of your nice things. Look at that. I've got yellow here. You can hardly see it. Me and my bad lighting. See, there are my prints. Now I'm going to add something to the fingerprints so that they look like something different. All right. Let's see if you guys can figure out what this is going to be. I'm putting a little, it's like a rectangle and a little funny loop on the top. Does that look like anything yet? What do you think that looks like? Let's see. Now I'm doing a wavy line to attach all of them. Does it look like a string of Christmas lights? Isn't that cool? So simple with your fingerprints. I think that looks so neat. And then I left space across the bottom. You, I don't think you can see it, but I wrote happy holidays in pencil. 
And just like on the reindeer art that I did, I did it. I did my words in pencil first in case I make a mistake. That way I can erase it with eraser because if you do it in marker or crayon or pencil crayon and you make a mistake, you have you can't really erase those things and that gets a little bit that can be frustrating, right friends? So I did it in pencil first to make sure I had room for all my letters and that I spelled things correctly. And now I can go over it with a marker. I can just go over my pencil lines and I know that I won't make a mistake. And that way I won't get frustrated. Now, you don't have to write happy holidays on yours. You could turn it into a different kind of a picture. You could write Merry Christmas on it. You can turn it into a card for someone that you love. But I just thought that this was such a neat thing to show you. And I'm hoping that you have a lot of fun making it. Because it looks really good, I think. It's super fun. Bye for now, friends.